Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning right now as I speak. We have a really busy day today. We're actually going to film two videos for you. Um, first one, we're going to show you garage sale hauls. And I have a topic. And I actually want to do this video because I want to get answers for the topic. Because I'm really curious about this. Um, but first of all, if you're new here, they have been, YouTube has been like pushing a storage unit video we did like in february or march and we picked up a lot of new subscribers from that so if you're new here from the storage unit video uh we do do storage unit videos but not very often we are full-time resellers here in lincoln nebraska my name is steve my wife is donna she will be joining me in a little bit all right i closed the garage door just because uh, the garbage guys are coming and while we really do like our garbage guys but it's really noisy and there's a lot of cans out here and i got to get this film because we have to be at the antique booth in an hour and a half so if you're new here um thank you for coming in we do do storage units for on occasion we don't do them as much as we'd probably like to do and especially right now with it being full force garage sale season it just doesn't make sense for us to do when we can go out to garage sales and absolutely kill it we are full-time resellers this is all we do so we have a youtube channel it's just kind of like go chronicling our life and our journey reselling it's mostly reselling content it's also just us recording ourselves because well, whatever. We've been doing it now for three years, and so welcome along. If you are interested in stuff like this, that's awesome. And if you're not, thanks for checking it out anyway. But today's video, the first one we're going to do is garage sale haul. We did go garage selling yesterday, and we got some cool stuff, including one thing that I just don't know why I picked up. I'm sure it's a great deal, but now it's something I have to deal with. I'm sure you've all done that before, where you buy something, you get it home, and you go, what did I do? But... We will get into that here in just a little bit. We also have uh, shipping today, but I'm not going to film shipping because we're doing this and the booth today. Um, but in our shipping, I did look ahead and we did get two sales from the state of Louisiana. So we will color in Louisiana. I'm going to pop up the two sales we have to Louisiana just in case the buyers are viewers and helping us fill our map. We're down to one, two, three, four five more states after this i think and then the map will be full and we'll do a drawing so the first thing we sold to louisiana was this lot of 1940s tiny tales miniature books and that sold for 9.99 that's going to louisiana and the other thing we sold going to louisiana was this vintage fire king milk glass snack tray and cup sets so that sold for 20 dollars and that is going to louisiana as well so we're going to color in louisiana and we can uh, get one step closer to having that map complete all right let's get into my question that i actually do would like to see some answers for and then we will show you what we found at garage sales yesterday and we'll get on with our day because we got a lot to do shipping and rearrange the entire booth we're getting more space today just lots of things going on so let's get into it All right, first of all, before I ask my question, Wednesday night we went to like a sneak peek video, a sneak peek garage sale in my sister's neighborhood, and we did find some stuff. We're not going to go over that stuff. Um, it's already in here, kind of intermixed with everything, but I do want to show you. For all the old people like me that was into the old metal and hard rock era, look at these cassettes I got. M.O.D., Metallica. Judas Priest, Sex Pistols, DRI, like, that's cool stuff. Anytime I can find, like, hard rock, heavy metal cassettes, I'm all about that. They're easy. I check to make sure the little pads are there, but they're easy to list, easy to ship, so I grab those. If you are new here, this is our garage. We have a garage and a storage unit, and this may look like a mess. That's because it is, but this is what we do. Our mess changes all the time. This stuff right here is listed on the dollar auction, so all that will disappear. This is stuff listed on eBay. We're just filling these boxes. And then everything else, we're working. Donna just pulled all that fabric out to sell. Um, that was from a garage sale in Arkansas. So anyway, my qu okay, let's get to my question, so, and then we can show you the stuff. My question is, on Wednesday nights, we plan out our garage sailing for Thursday. Here in Nebraska, in Lincoln, Nebraska, most garage sales go Thursday through Saturday. And so, of course, you know, being resellers especially, we want to be 
out as soon as we can right we're not knocking on anybody's door before they're open but we get out there when garage sales start so this weekend and last weekend have been two of the biggest weekends of the whole year and so wednesday night we're planning our i'm going to pop up some maps here planning our garage selling for thursday and this was our dilemma all right here's a map of lincoln nebraska where we live uh, we live in the upper left hand corner and lincoln is about it's almost 300,000 people so it's a decent sized city and it takes from where we live in the upper left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner it takes about a half an hour to get there so no matter what if there's a lot of sales we literally in one day can't get to them all and this weekend was no exception because there are a lot of sales now if you look at this map you'll see different icons if you look at the purple hearts they are just garage sales I call them rogue garage sales because they're kind of on their own from according to the listings that we see on Facebook they don't seem to belong to a neighborhood garage sale if you look at the red hearts those are neighborhood garage sales instead of putting all of the addresses in I just put a red heart there so we know there's neighborhood garage sales there right and then if you look there's also little frowny faces that you might see and those are ones that are what I call professional garage sales um, they have multiple sales a year and they have like ebay prices they're like a lot of those are like reseller garage sales where we're not probably going to find things to flip to support our family and our lifestyle uh, at those sales so i put little frowny faces i have a list that says do not go for those so nothing against those people it's just that's not the garage sale i'm looking for so if we look here the next map this is the purple hearts so they're spread out quite a bit throughout the city um, so we basically will hit those if we're in the area and then if I slide to the next map this is the hearts every one of these hearts there's multiple garage sales there's neighborhood sales so there is like at least I would say from looking from the list there was like at least 13 to 15 sales at each heart and some of them a lot more so if you look at these hearts we can't in 300,000 people city, we can't go to all these sales. It's just impossible. So then we break it on down and try to decide, okay, when we get up in the morning, where are we gonna head first? Over here on the left, you have the section that we call Air Park. There is a west side of Air Park that has been around a long, long, long time. And there's a east side of Air Park that was pretty new when we moved here 20 years ago. So it's probably like 20, 25 year old houses, neighborhoods. So it's not like, really old but it's not new enough that it's just new families with you know baby stuff you know you roll up and it's all strollers and bouncy chairs and baby clothes uh, that's usually the brand new neighborhoods um, honestly if you're a reseller you know this so I am getting to a question here so then you look below there and there was another neighborhood sale here that had about I think about 15 sales problem is just east of this so if you look it's on the far west side of the city and just east of this neighborhood the road is closed so it's a real pain to go around and get into this neighborhood but I also thought well maybe that would keep some people out of the neighborhood like they might not get as much traffic in this area because it is more of a hassle to get to so then if we look over way on the right there's three hearts there were three neighborhoods all next to each other and they were all having neighborhood sales so there's a lot of sales in this little group probably at least 60 sales over here two of the neighborhoods are very very new and that's where we a lot of times we find those new families with young children and a lot of baby stuff right so there's a lot of sales over there and then if you come to the middle that one there is those are that's an old neighborhood that's in the center of the city it's really old it's not like bad neighborhood it's a nice neighborhood there's nothing wrong with it but it's old so but that might be where old money is like older people that have lived in their houses for 40 50 years and they might have stuff just stored in the house like they're not moving in the last 20 years where they might clean things out so that's intriguing for us we call that old money is what we say um, and then down here, this one is the most that we saw in one neighborhood. This is a newer neighborhood, not super new, but uh, this is more of a higher income area of town. The farther when you go south, that's where more of the money is. And this is so this is higher income, but 
this one neighborhood had like 30 to 40 sales at least that were listed. So that means it attracts, we think, a lot more people. And then way down here, the bottom right, this neighborhood confuses the crap out of me because I'm not kidding and I'm not making this up, I'm not exaggerating. This is a newer neighborhood, a lot of baby stuff. Um, newer neighborhood in the last 10 years. And this is at least their fourth or fifth neighborhood sale. And it was it's only the first weekend in June. Like every three weeks, it seems like they have a neighborhood sale with 20 plus garage sales. So we're not going down there because we've already went down there twice and it's been kind of disappointing. So we're not going to keep going down there every three weeks <laughs> for their neighborhood sales. So, so this is my question. When you look at this map and it has all these different neighborhood sales, there's no way, no way possible to get to all these sales. So what would you do as a reseller? I would like actually to know if you're faced with this dilemma or maybe you don't live in this big of a city or, you know, whatever what would you do would you go to the more remote locations like on the left side of the map where not as many people are and then that one in the bottom left where there's like it's difficult to get to would you go to the heart of the city where it's like old money would you go over to the right where there's three neighborhood sales and there's so there's a ton of sales would you go to the south where there's more money but there's a lot of sales but we think you know it may attract more people so what would you do i will tell you what we did and then we'll show you what we found and we'll kind of show you uh, it wasn't a crazy day we didn't find any of those crazy sales where you get everything for 50 cents or a dollar or nothing like that but i will we will tell you what we did but what would you do drop it in the comments which direction would you go or would you skip all that and just go to all the rogue sales and just uh try to hit those just what do you think if you're starting where we are? All right, I am here and Donna has joined me now. Hey! It's Donna. Donna is melting. It's She's very, it's very hot. It's warm. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try everything we got is right here and over off to the side over there. You can see it in the side, but we'll go over that in a little bit. We paid one of the first sales we went to. Donna picked most of this. I grabbed a few things and we paid $40 for two boxes full of stuff at a garage sale. It's actually a garage sale of a viewer of the channel. Yep, Chris. And Christine. we've she's been going through her mother's stuff, is that right? Yeah. And so she's had a few garage sales her now. Her grandmother's stuff, I think. Her grandmother's, yes. A few garage sales now and it's always all new stuff, so we dig through the boxes. So we gave $40 for two boxes of stuff. So Donna's just gonna kinda pull through here and yep. kind of show what she found here. A little pixie. And this is all going to be like vintage stuff, breakables. My favorite type of things is breakables. <laughs> and so this is pretty much all breakables. Okay. So we got, I think there's only three of these. Oh yeah, we keep finding these glasses now. Isn't that crazy? Franciscan, Franciscan something. We just sold pink ones. We just sold yellow ones. Now we have some like gold ones and we have a bunch of amber ones. She got this set. Flour, coffee, and sugar, the main important things in life, right? Yep. And you picked these out. What are these? Uh, Pyrex lids. There were some Pyrex bowls. They're in there in the paper. There's one. There's, there's one of them. I don't know if they're good Pyrex or just blah Pyrex, but... Dude, I don't know if you got them. Let's see. I got them. There's one. There's another one right there. Same pattern. I think one of them was like opposite colors or something. Oh, here. Yeah, that one is white with green. Pull the paper. No. Okay. okay. There's a third one up there. Oh, this doesn't fit this. And there's a bowl <clears throat> that we don't have a lid for. That's all right. No, this one has the lid. And there you go. And this one fits both of these, I imagine. And we have a random lid. Yeah. We'll sell as a replacement. So yeah, hopefully they're good, but I don't know. They're Pyrex. That's a nice little set. Yeah. Okay. Like that won't fall if I hit it. Don't hit it. <laughs> I got this and this, and it says Mexico on the bottom. More breakables. I got that yeah, little all thing. Be break balls from this one. You guys, aren't these cute? Vintage little bottles. We yeah. got those from the same place. 
I got this little pitcher. Didn't look anything up. Looks like it's blown though. Hand yeah. blown. And a matching, matching bowl. Um, the same kind of color, but not the same type. That's true. Of. Yeah, they're cool though. I mean. Yeah. And then I had three of these. These have sold for us before. I think they are. Thing or Pyrex or. Can't remember what, but they're little soup. Okay. Bowls. Got a little hen. Yeah, we've sold several of those different colors and stuff. And then I got a couple of these. Yep. Donna likes the, likes the, what are they called? Willow trees. Willow tree. They don't sell worth a flip anymore, but. But she likes them. And I got this haul. Okay. Um, like soup. Little thing. Got this little cup. Isn't it cute? Yep. And then look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Pretty big. And breakable. breakable. Don't know what kind <laughs> it is, but I just thought it was gorgeous. This is a little tea canister. I thought that was cute. That's a lot of tea. That's a lot of tea. Got another little cup and. Yep. Cup and saucer. Mm -hmm. Got these two. I don't know the brand on them either. They're Karen. But it's... C-A-R-E-N or something, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some vintage lipstick. Is that a lipstick thing? No, it's a... Oh, it's a spray, spray. bottle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blows I got a set of these. I have a little cup tree for them to go on that I got at her sale last time. And these... Corral, right? I think so. And those say server on it. This mm -hmm. bowl here. So it says server. That was it for that sale. And now we went to some others. And I got some Scentsy wall plugs. New in the box. For four bucks. Here's another one. The base is in the bottom. Here's another one. The base is in the bottom. Here is a, a Scentsy itself. She was a Scentsy consultant. But she gave you a good deal on that yeah, stuff, right? I got all of these for 15 so cool. that was good. Um, this was from a free box. Oh, nice. And it's a little, it's Container. taped. Tape. It's a trink, trinket box. There we go. And then I got this for a dollar. It is a wine stopper. And then you guys, I got this essential oils. And do you see which one is in here? I don't. What's it say? Frankincense. Frankincense, all right. Frankincense is the most sought after essential oil. Cool. Okay, this is a beside the table water pitcher. Yep. This is the glass, this is the pitcher. Got that for five. Got this pair for a dollar, little brass yep. swans. I got this, it was so hot to the touch. But it's it a glass glass chicken, and I haven't looked it up, but I got it for a dollar. Isn't it the cutest? Yeah, it's cool. All right, then we were to sale, and this is brand new. Look at this, brand stinking new, four bucks for this dog box, dog treat box, or dog picnic toy box. Picnic basket. Picnic basket, whatever you want to call it, four bucks. So we thought that's a great deal there. All right, we're not going to show you clothes today, just to save you time. It's just stuff for the booth mainly. So build a bear. Okay. Puppy. <clears throat> Metronome. Got it for five, I think. I can't get it open. I don't want to break it. There we go. Cool. I got a set of these guys. Oh, that's cute. Hear no evil. Oh, hear no evil. See, see no evil. Hear, speak, speak no evil. evil. Yeah. The little so, owls. Three little owls. Guys, I actually found a good video game in the wild. These were three dollars a piece. This one's ten to fifteen dollars, and this one, Ultimate Marvel Capcom. This one has more. It's like twenty some listed, thirty some sold, and it's like forty or fifty bucks. And it, this looks good. I did check it this time, but yeah, I actually found a good video game in the wild. Why did we find that? Well, let me tell you why. 
in the beginning of the video i did uh ask i showed all those sections of the town and kind of which way would you go i hope some people put some answers in there so we had the you know low populated areas newer neighborhoods older neighborhoods we tried to go where we thought areas. all the groups of people wouldn't go yeah we tried to outsmart all of the other resellers and garage <laughs> oh, no. sellers. We went to the center of the city to the oldest, the old money is what we call it. So not a lot of new stuff, but you know, stuff yeah. that's been in their houses for a lot longer. And then, um, and then we circled around and we ended up going to that west side. Where, where there was construction. Yes, and it was harder to get to. Yeah. And then out to the very far west side, the air park area. And we finished there about two o'clock. So yep. we did okay. Um, We've had better days, but we did we did just fine, I think. Yeah. So anyway, that was our answer. We went to the old money because we thought more people would go to the more more sales in the smaller area. I bet you those things were zoos. And we didn't fight people all day. No. There were people in the sales, but it wasn't it ridiculous. It wasn't elbow to elbow. Yeah, so that was great. So, all okay. right, let's knock these out here. What I else got we got? Kate Spade purse for a dollar. Okay. Um, we got a chicken. A big chicken. For five. Okay, they'll probably go in the booth, I assume. I'm not yes. going to ship that. 50 cents for Tupperware, 50 cents for the mushrooms. You guys, the yep. mushrooms are still doing good. This was in the free box, I think, for... Another free chicken. Chicken. Uh, 50 cents for this salt and pepper shaker, shaker set. Yeah. Um, doing Scentsy's quite often, but... Oh, that one's cool. It's, yeah, unique Scentsy's. Hey, Mom, if you want that one instead, let me know. There you go. And I've been picking up Ray Dunn, 25 cents. She tried cents. to pick up an entire Ray Dunn. <laughs> she thought collection. about it for 30 bucks. Anyway, <laughs> there was 26 pieces um, because I'm going to have a Ray Dunn shelf in the booth. Okay. Um, we got these little guys for a buck a piece. Donna likes the trolls. And, well, the, I think these are vintage ones. This well, one, maybe they are. especially. A Cracker Jack box. Um, one of these little... 25 cent giraffe he's nine dollars nine to fifteen dollars the little rubber squeaky toy yeah. um mickey mouse for a dollar these dishes i got this whole set for 10 so i'm going to separate that i bought random things that are random um first of all one sale i did get three i got this big yeti with the lid no straw though camouflage yeti for three dollars i paid for that Okay, you guys, major bolo alert as you can see in these pictures. I had no idea this was worth this much. As apparently, this is a discontinued model, and it is regularly selling for over $100. Keep an eye out for that. And then I got three matching. There's three of these. They do not have the lids, but they're three coffee cups Yeti. Um, I'll just put these on dollar auction. These would be great for, like, people camping and stuff like that. So they'll go there. Let's just set that aside. We're just going to hit the highlights. Hit the highlights. Uh, these hats paid $4 a hat. Um, this has from last year, 2023 PGA Oak Hill. Um, and oh, it's yeah. brand new with the sticker on it and everything. So I'm probably going to sell this one. And then, I don't know, I might keep these hats. Um, this is a Callaway uh, hat in very, very good condition. Uh, barely worn at all. And then a nice Patagonia hat. Uh, and then I got the pair of Brooks. That was really close to my toe. A pair of Brooks, if you look at the bottom, like I don't know if they've ever been worn. Um, and they're, I paid five bucks for them. They're in excellent, excellent condition. They're a little bit older model. They are the Addiction 12s, but in that condition, I definitely am gonna pick that up. The guy, there was one guy that has all his electric tools. He switched brands. So he had two of these chargers. Now they are in rough shape but he only wanted 50 cents a piece. So I got 50 cents, so I got two of them for a dollar. I'll wipe them down, clean them up, and they're like 15 bucks a piece. This is some tractor ornaments, some some Case IH tractor ornaments. I honestly, it's either dollar auction or booth, I'm thinking for this. They don't sell great on dollar auction, but I just thought they were really cool. You mean and on eBay? Not, yes, they don't sell really good on eBay. I'm trying to hurry so my brain don't work as fast. But I thought they were really cool, and here in Nebraska, you know, people like their tractors. Uh, I got a couple things that are for dollar auction because they were only a dollar and I thought they were super cool. Here's right here a carved Lincoln. flag. They're both made here in Lincoln from Keepsake Woodcuts and they only wanted a dollar each for this. And this one here, that the one Pledge was, Allegiance. That one was two. Was it two? Okay, two dollars for this one. But those are super cool and there's no 
there's nothing knocked out or missing so i picked those up i think they do really well on the dollar auction uh i got just a few more things to show you here years and years and years and years and years and years ago when i was a young pup that's a lot of years before i was even 21 i think and i was like 18 i was on a pool league and they had a big john's billiards up here and i came up and i bought a pool cue well here's a this is a viking pool cue and mine was a viking as well and in here and it's in very good condition like you don't even see any any like real wear on here um so that's a viking cue made in the usa and i picked that up for 20 bucks it even has caps on the screws you know where it screws together i mean that means it's been well taken care of and stuff so excellent condition i think this would be 100 150 dollars i think i'm going to show you this let's go to the back of the van i'm not a tool guy so i don't know a lot about tools but i know brands i know snap-on i know milwaukee i know to look for the good brands so i found this milwaukee it's in rough condition it's a portable bandsaw it's very dirty um, but i looked it up and it's in you know obviously well used well loved they say there's no saw blade and this is cracked around the wheel like the rubber's cracked like a belt cracks but i looked it up and these things sell for like 100 to 200 dollars and even for parts or repair they sell for like 50 to 100 so for 10 bucks i thought you know what i'll clean it up a little bit and hopefully i can sell it for you know between 50 and 100 bucks so i grabbed it all right then my either find of the day or my dumb ad <laughs> My find of the day or my dumb buy of the day. I spent $45 on an air compressor. It's from a dentist's office. Uh, it's a June Air, uh, June Air brand. The guy said these things run super quiet. They're in dentist's office. They run all day. It's not a big tank, so it's not a lot of capacity. But I looked it up, and these things, they don't sell a lot of them. But they're worth, like, over $1,000 pre-owned. Now... He did say there's a pinhole leak in it. They had a pinhole and it has been repaired. And so we have this issue in the bottom. I don't know nothing about this. I don't know. He offered to plug it in and test it out and everything, you know, to show that it works and everything. But I said, well, no, $45. I thought that's a heck of a deal. Well, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna try to sell it but I'm gonna have to actually test it out to make sure it don't leak and then I don't know that there's a big market for this I just thought even if I can get just a couple hundred bucks for it ten bucks or forty forty five dollars for something that's like maybe a thousand dollars is worth the chance but now that it's home I'm like what did I do but nah, we'll I see. do that a lot so anyway and there's a few more things like in bags that we may have missed or whatever but we uh, uh time is running low so we got to get down to the store to help get our space that we're going to have empty Cleared and get out, that set yeah. up we're going to take the gopros we're going to film time lapse and we're going to film there so we'll do that on the next video but for this one this is all we got for today right that's it like and subscribe share with your friends ring that little bell and catch us on the next one all right cool for happy our treasures i'm steve i'm donna we'll see you next time bye